Jeffrey Epstein sat quietly in court, no visible signs of any physical trauma, just days after being found semi-conscious in his jail cell with marks on his neck. Authorities still investigating whether it was self-inflicted or an attack by a fellow inmate, as lawyers argued over when the disgraced financier will stand trial on federal sex trafficking and conspiracy charges. Epstein has pleaded not guilty. One of Epstein's attorneys asking the judge for more than a year to prepare the case, saying it would take that long to review a million discovery documents, including emails, texts, and phone records obtained in the investigation. Outside of court, attorney Gloria Allred, who represents some of the alleged victims, calling for even more accusers to come forward. It is not too late to help in the process of seeking justice. Law enforcement sources say several accusers have come forward in New Mexico, where Epstein owns a sprawling ranch. According to a new report published in the New York Times, not verified by NBC News, Epstein wanted to use the ranch for controlled breeding, using his DNA to improve humanity. Citing two award-winning scientists and an advisor to large companies and wealthy individuals, the article reports Epstein surrounded himself with leading scientists and would tell them he wanted to have 20 women impregnated at a time on the ranch. There's no evidence Epstein ever set his plan into motion, and his attorneys did not respond to our request for comment. This morning, we also now know Epstein was served with legal documents in connection to an anticipated civil lawsuit by makeup artist Jennifer Arose in the day or two before he was injured in jail. Arose recently telling Savannah Epstein assaulted her when she was 15. What would you say to those who say, a civil suit, lawyers, this is about getting money from a billionaire? Um, you know, he, he, he hurt me badly. Um, I prefer not to go through this. So, you know, this is one way for me to get justice.